Mm, not excited for our future playoff series with this team. Let's go! Yeah! Grammar properly right now. How frustrated I am. The Vegas Golden Knights lose to the Edmonton Oilers three to two. Um, we cannot play run and gun against this team, and that's essentially all that they did. All three of Edmonton's goals were in transition, on breakaways, and just um, Leonard did have a lot of saves on breakaways in transitions on these run and gun type plays and that's great. Um, boy, we actually had an amazing start to this game and then like at 18 minutes in, it's like, dang it, they got one. And then at 19 minutes in, we're like, dang it, they got another. A really amazing back and forth goalie battle between Leonard and Koskinen. <laughs> Miko Koskinen. <laughs> and, and like, he had a great game. Koskinen was fantastic in this game and like goalies are going to have fantastic games. I, I tweeted this, I thought that it was Koskinen having a great game, 65%, and Vegas, 35% just not. About 18 minutes into the first period, Tyson Berry up to Ryan Nugent Hopkins, an absolute snipe, beautiful shot. Far side posted in past Leonard, makes it one nothing Oilers, and it's like, ah, man, we were playing such good hockey too, and I mean, we had a power play where we spent a minute and 51 seconds straight from the beginning of the power play till there was nine seconds left in the offensive zone. When we were passing, we took a couple of really, really good shots. Well, Pacioretty did. Couldn't get it in, past Koskinen, and, and that was the best power play that we have not scored on in at least the last two years. And then with 15 seconds left in the first period, turnover in the neutral zone, Zach Cassian up to Zach Hyman, who battles Stone for this so hard. He, and it's Stone, one of the best defensive-minded forwards in the league, is knocked off by Zach Hyman, and then Zach Hyman takes him for a ride until he gets it past Leonard to make it 2-0 the Edmonton. I really love Zach Hyman. I loved him when he was on the Maple Leafs. I love him on the Oilers. He's a player that works very, very hard, is able to do a lot of different things, has a physical aspect to his game, and just commands the puck. Uh, away from people and he did that with Stone here and he is probably my favorite player that's never played for the Vegas Golden Knights and that plays an example of why and we go into the second period after playing a phenomenal first period down to nothing. <laughs> the Oilers power play percentage is 39%! How is that legal? Six minutes into the second <laughs> <laughs> Again, in transition, a breakaway opportunity. Holy RV scores past Leonard. Uh, uh, completely on his own breakaway, making it three nothing Edmonton. And hey, I'm not I'm not knocking Paul Yarvey by saying this. I do this in my hockey class where I'll see a turnover in our defensive zone, and I'll immediately, as soon as I see that our guy has possession of the puck, we'll just start skating past the ice. And this is exactly how I scored one of the goals that I have this season, is because uh, I went up the ice, and my teammate Jake had a beautiful pass off the boards, went right to my stick, and I grabbed it, and I was able to get it. But like. That's essentially what Pugliarvi did. You could see him peel out and just go, and he gets this pass and is able to bury it, and so it's 3-0 Edmonton, and there we still got half a game of hockey left, and Vegas can do stuff like that, but I wasn't the most optimistic at this point. We do get on the board. Chandler Stevenson, again, <laughs> for the second straight game, scores our first goal of the game. Chandler Stevenson... I, oh, I love this man. Beautiful backhand snipe past Koskinen, and that's what gets past him. On a partial break, making it three to one, and uh, just giving me the ever bit of hope. Oh, I didn't even mention this. Jonathan Marcheseau is back, and he <laughs> looked hungry. Oh my goodness. Definitely was all over the place and getting really, really good chances and uh, wasn't really able to get one to go in until the third period where he doesn't actually get one to go in, but he kind of does at the same time. Theodore kind of sends it back to Marcheseau, who does this little spin thing pass 
tries to just fling it on net and it stopped, but there's a bunch of people <laughs> in front. He fell to the ice when he did that whole backhand try to shoot thing or whatever. Gets back up, goes in for it, grabs that puck and sends it and it's tipped by Riley Smith, goes in, makes it three to two. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, we really want this, don't we? Came this close to at least getting a point from this game, but unfortunately Edmonton holds on and is able to win this. And I uh, was disappointed, but like, I <clears throat> loved the effort from Marcia. So I love what we're getting from Stevenson and I hope that Stone and Patchetti, while they both were assists on that Stevenson player, are able to actually get goals here soon. And I I'm not trying to complain here. Like I, I love the effort that we're getting, but that's also from our top guys. Like, I don't know where our bottom six is. We finally have like a healthy-ish, but like, yeah, Mark, Dodonov, uh, Waugh, Howden, and Eichel, to this point, has been absolutely invisible out there. Like, I need more effort from him. We're paying him, what, nine mil a season? Ah, oh, just... Our first really, really good game that we played this season was against Edmonton, where we lost three to five. This was a much better, solid defensive effort where, across the board, Vegas was playing better defensively, but uh, the goals that were allowed were all on breaks and these break and it's just very unfortunate, and, but that's what it's going to be like facing Edmonton. Bright side to this, <laughs> just <laughs> we held McDavid and Dreisaitl to zero points in this game. Greg McNabb stuck on McDavid like butter and just absolutely made him not effective tonight. He was fantastic at shutting him down in the neutral zone, forcing him to the outside, making sure that he could not be McDavid and go around four different people to score a beautiful highlight real goal. Everybody that I said we should be focused on trading is just performing so well. And I'm so happy and also terrified because of what that means. But at the same time, just gotta live in the moment. You never know what's gonna happen, and, and I'm glad to, that we have these guys stepping up and playing really phenomenally. Let's just go out there and get her next time. Anyways, it's gonna be it for game 21, actual game 21 this time. It's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night. I can finally get rid of this, 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 this awful excuse for a mustache. <laughs>